The battlefield of 2025 looks very different from just a decade ago. While drones and satellite-guided munitions dominate headlines, another revolution is quietly unfolding at the level of the individual soldier. Powered by advances in artificial intelligence, modern infantry systems are being enhanced with tools that improve targeting, situational awareness, decision-making, and survivability in real time. These AI-enabled soldier systems aren't just prototypes anymore. They're being tested, deployed, and in some cases already reshaping how militaries operate. So, in today's video, we're counting down the top five AI-enabled soldier systems of 2025 based on field deployment, technological maturity, and battlefield relevance. Let's dive in. The Smash 2000L, developed by Israeli company Smart Shooter, is an AI-powered optic that transforms a regular infantry rifle into a highly precise anti-drone and counter-terror tool. It uses computer vision and machine learning to automatically track moving targets and only allow the weapon to fire when it's perfectly aligned. In 2025, the US Army began rolling out Smash 2000L systems in select combat units as part of a $13 million procurement program with testing conducted in Germany and Indo-Pacific locations. Smash scopes have already been deployed by Israeli and Indian forces in urban and drone threat heavy environments. This system uses real-time image processing to identify, track, and lock on to flying targets like quadcopters or fast-moving individuals. It can compensate for operator error, making even average shooters far more effective in combat. The IVAS headset, developed by Microsoft in partnership with the U.S. Army, is an augmented reality system that overlays digital information directly onto the soldier's field of view. In addition to standard night vision and thermal imaging, it uses AI to map surroundings, identify threats, and mark targets. In 2025, the IVAS 1.2 version began limited deployment in training and reconnaissance units after several rounds of feedback and redesign. The system combines data from multiple sensors including optical, thermal, and LiDAR, and displays tactical overlays, friendly unit positions, and real-time mission updates. AI algorithms in the system help filter sensor data, flag anomalies, and improve target recognition in complex environments, helping soldiers process more information without being overwhelmed. Gladius 2.0 is Germany's fully integrated soldier system, developed by Rheinmetall to equip infantry with digital tools for modern warfare. It's not a single device, but a complete kit, combining rugged tablets, smart helmets, secure radios, and wearable sensors that connect each squad member to a wider battlefield network. The AI component lies in the system's middleware, it doesn't just collect sensor data, it processes and filters it, highlighting relevant threats, suggesting movement routes, and improving command and control across dismounted and mechanized units. This turns Gladius 2.0 into a digital assistant that supports real-time decision-making without overloading the soldier. In 2025, the German army began rolling out Gladius 2.0 under a 3.1 billion euro contract to equip hundreds of platoon-level units. While less flashy than AI scopes or augmented reality helmets, it's a real, fielded system that's already in use and reshaping how German infantry trains and fights. While Russia has traditionally lagged behind Western nations in integrating AI at the soldier level, 2025 has seen growing reports around a project called Palmyra, a helmet-mounted fire control assistant and neural interface targeting system tied into the Ratnik Soldier Modernization Program. Footage and leaks from trials suggest Palmyra offers enhanced target tracking via electro-optical systems and connects to drones or robotic units via secure AI-driven links. As of 2025, there is no confirmed evidence that Palmyra has entered operational service with Russian troops. 
All reporting remains speculative and based on prototype trials. However, the system is reportedly designed to track movement patterns, prioritize targets, and assist with ballistic solutions using neural networks, possibly linking with drones to provide real-time targeting data. While not widely fielded, elements of this system have reportedly been tested in exercises near the Ukrainian border and in Arctic training scenarios. China's Norinco has quietly been developing an AI-enabled battlefield management and targeting system that links infantry, UAVs, and artillery units through a shared digital network. While officially described as an intelligent precision strike platform, it's part of a broader trend in China's push for what it calls intelligentized warfare. Reports from defense expos and Chinese state media describe how the system uses AI to process sensor data from small drones and reconnaissance units in real time, generating fire control data and automatically queuing strike options for human approval. Trials in 2024 and 2025 focused on urban combat simulations and rapid target engagement using a manned-unmanned teaming model. It represents an effort to coordinate multiple combat assets, infantry, drones, artillery, through a centralized AI system that rapidly analyzes the battle space and issues fire recommendations across units. AI on the battlefield is no longer just about autonomous drones or missiles. Increasingly, it's about enhancing the individual warfighter, giving them better awareness, faster decision-making tools, and smarter targeting systems. Each of the systems listed here demonstrates a different approach, from precision shooting and information overlays to AI-driven situational understanding and coordinated fire networks. Together, they reflect a shift toward more integrated, data-driven combat, where reaction time and information processing can be the difference between survival and failure. So, What's your take on these AI-enabled soldier systems? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Defense Central for more in-depth reviews and updates from the world of military tech.